Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in to another Hangwood Heavy video. Hey, today I want to talk to you about the way that welders and engineers talk to each other. So we're going to be discussing today basic welding symbols. So hang with Heavy as I show you how to read basic welding symbols. Now, as soon as somebody mentions to a welder, now, as soon as somebody mentions to a welder about a blueprint or something, the first thing the welder is going to wonder is what kind of welds do I have to put down? Because as a welder, that is your only job, to make high quality weld deposit. But it's also your job to put it in the right place. So let's talk about welding symbols now. For those of you that have no idea about welding symbols, we're going to start off with the very basics. And the very basics are going to be a reference line. Now, this is your reference line. All it is is just a horizontal line, but it has two sides. One side is called the other side, and the one other side is called the arrow side. So, one side is called the other side. The opposite side is called the arrow side. And that's all going to make sense to you in just a minute. Let's go ahead and put a reference arrow onto this. All right, this is my reference arrow, or what we call a leader. Now, the leader is going to point towards the welding joint. In this case, we have just a basic fillet weld. Now then, this welding symbol is incomplete until I put the weld symbol on it. So let's take a look. Other side, arrow side. I'm going to put the weld symbol on the arrow side. Now what that means to me is that the weld will go to where the arrow is pointing. So, if the weld symbol is on the bottom of the reference line, or what we call the arrow side, the weld is going to go directly to where the arrow is pointing. Now then, let's say we want to weld on both sides. In that case, we put a, a weld symbol up there, and now we know that the weld is going to go on both sides of the joint. If you want to know what size the weld is going to be, then you're going to put it onto the left side of the weld symbol. That tells you exactly what size this weld is going to be. Now, let's take a look at this part here. This is called the tail. And the tail is going to hold notes and or specifications. A good example, let's say that you want this weld made with 6010 electrode. In the tail, you may find that information. Sixty ten electrode. Now what this does is this tells you that you're going to make a weld on the other side and the arrow side. That weld is going to be one quarter inch in size and you're going to make it with the 6010 electrode. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the basics of weld symbols. Now, you hang with Heve as I take you even further into weld symbols to help you build your own power hammer at home. And for those of you who are doing your power hammer, you're going to notice some weld symbols just like this on there. So go ahead and uh, now you'll know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Until next time, YouTube, you know what I want you to do. Like, share, subscribe. Reach on over there. Hit that like button and do that for me. And until next time, I'll see you outside.